Hello there. Mm, I have some tool, new tool, that made it. I made it to help me in modding, because many times I work with the multiple many files and uh, digging manually in them, adding colliders, checking renderers. It's just pain in the ass. So uh, I made something to speed it up. Uh, it's called modding assistant. It's the tool to work with the multiple objects, uh, just to speed up the development, so you can focus on artistic parts of the modding, not on the just on the running around the hierarchy and looking for the stuff. Uh, so many times I had the problems with the mesh baker usually because uh, the objects were inside the folders. I had to open them, drag them, mark them, copy, paste, Jesus. So um, it was actually easier to spend some time and, and build that tool. And what it does, like, uh, I will go, I don't know, with, uh, one by one. I will show you a few examples and uh, maybe it will be useful for you. Okay, so I will start with, I'll make some cubes. Actually, I'll put them into the empty object just anything on the scene so let's say that should be enough so I'll show you on the example of in the mesh baker but you don't have to use it for mesh baker it just just the example. Okay, so I'm gonna combine these uh, cubes mm, and I will show you what problems I had usually with it with combined objects. So I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly combine them. Uh, blah blah. And actually, I will make a lot of ma meshes, so they won't be combined. Like kind of combined, but there will still be there will still be a lot of them. Okay, all right, and that made this kind of mess in my hierarchy. I like to have my hierarchy cleaned. Uh, so we have all these meshes here. We can actually go back here. We can disable renderers on the sources, or actually we can get rid of completely get rid of them. Okay, so we have these meshes inside the folder, inside the parent, which is empty object. So what I was doing, I had to open each one, mark all of it, drag them somewhere, assign them to some parent, I don't know, cubes or something. So I'll show you what the tool does. does. Okay, so I'm gonna mark them all. Open the assistant. You can actually rescale it. Uh, you can scroll. You can uh, park it here, so you will have uh, every time you will have access to it. Now, just oh, actually, I can keep it here. Maybe I will make it bigger, so all the text will be visible. So yeah, I marked all of them. Mm, first option is I will extract game objects. So I will get get these guys. I'll put them into one place instead of doing manually. So it asks you for the new parent name, so I'll put my cubes, for example. Uh, optionally, I can disable source rend renderer. So what it will do, it will disable this mesh renderer. So we won't have duplicated objects. So actually, let's do it. So I mark them all. It can be one, it can be a lot of renderers, you can have a lot of renderers inside the parent. It will, the script will dig deep, deep, child of child of child of child, etc. So all the objects deep in here will be included as well. So I'm gonna extract into the my cubes now. So that's all. We have all these guys which are here, we have now in inside one place. And because we uh, marked disabled source renderer, renderer is also disabled. 
Okay, let's go back to so we can we can actually keep these guys here. I'll show you another option here. So now we have cubes. They're actually clones, uh, but still the same. Let's call it the same. The name is still the same. Okay, so now the op the second option is is uh, at colliders. It will search in all selected objects and their children. If object has mesh render but not colli no collider, it will add to it. So as we see, uh, these are meshes have no colliders because they were created by mesh baker. It has no cl colliders. They have mesh renderers, so I can just. At colliders to him. and you have all the time you have some uh, logs here that 16 colliders uh, were created and uh, for the previous operation here we had 60 objects 16 objects transferred and um, 16 renderers disabled which were here okay so now uh, we have on each mesh we have a collider the next option is it's handy actually for mm -hmm. cooling system so you can extract all, all these colliders to separate game objects. So you can cool renderers in different layers, but the colliders of these meshes will be still in walkable layers. So I'm not in modding a template now, so let's say I think eight was or nine, whatever was walkable layer, doesn't matter. So we have a few options here. We can remove old colliders. So it's going to remove these guys, uh, these here, or you can keep it. Let's let's remove it. A layer for new collider. Uh, so we're going to use the vocable. So I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> I don't have a vocable layer here. So it's water and then mark the parent or we can mark them all, whatever. Uh, mark the parent, extract colliders. Oh, yeah, actually, I forgot something. Uh, you can put the name for the collider. So, for example, mm, colliders from my cubes. Uh, so now it will remove all colliders from the sources from my cubes. It will change the layer for the colliders to water layer, and it will put into the parent new game object colliders from my cubes. Bang. And uh, oh yeah, I didn't mark it. Zero colliders removed. Extract what? Uh, did I mess up something with the script? Do we have a colliders here? Oh shit, we have no colliders. Okay. So, do, 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 so let's go back. Add colliders. Sixteen colliders created. Uh, yeah, we have colliders here. Now we're gonna close this, uh, remove this, remove all colliders, blah blah blah, extract colliders. Yeah, and now we have a. What it does, it creates new object with the name of the source with collider name added. Uh, so now, because I mm, ticked here, checked uh, remove all colliders, so these sources meshes have no more colliders. But this is only collider here for this mesh. You can actually see it here, right? So what we can do now? So oh yeah, so they they are on the water layer now, uh, layer number four. But it could be walkable layer, so you can actually you can you can make a parent. You can drag all the objects in your scene and you can go here and extract all colliders. Could be thousands of them from the game objects, uh, any game object that has a collider. And it will put into the one place where you have access to all colliders and it could be walkable. So you can cool the rest of the stuff in different layers. You can cool renderers, not the colliders. Um, okay, so now we have a uh, we can get rid of yeah we can get rid of the sources so we have my cubes lovely in a parent called my cubes we have a colliders from my cubes also parented uh, in one place let's go back next option it will search for not active renderers in selected game objects and its children and remove them optionally can remove mesh filter okay sometimes okay maybe I will go back here. 
Yeah, so these are, I think these are mesh renders are not active anymore. So, but they still here in a scene. So they have its own material. They have a mesh here. So after you might have all those things duplicated actually. It's like they are not in, s they are in the scene, but you don't see them, but they take the space in the build because they have to be still, there is still mesh filter. There is still mesh here. There's still material. So uh, we can mark them all, uh, go back here and we'll kill. Oh yeah, we can also remove the mesh filters, which is basically mesh. Uh, kill not active renderers and click. And we have uh, 16 renderers destroyed, 16 mesh filters destroyed. So now if we go back to the sources, we have empty game objects. So actually they do nothing now, but we can get rid of them now. Handy if you have, uh, here actually it's very complicated, a lot of objects uh, just to clean up. Okay, so let's go back to our meshes. So we have a mesh render filter, we have uh, materials on them, but we don't have colliders because colliders we have in a separate parent. Okay, next options is next option equal dig in selected game object and enable not active. Oh, yeah, if you have an, a disabled renderers by this option or if you have any game objects that have like thousands of them that have no that have renderer disabled you can actually enable enable renderer on them quickly so i think here is nothing but if you um, for example Yeah, so actually, you know what, what, what that means. Same here. Um, if we have uh, objects that has a colliders are not active, but they are still there, you can you can enable these colliders. OK, next option is that's very handy um, for baking, for example, three shadows on the scene. If you use some uh, impostors except uh, instead of trees just to bake the shadow on the uh, on the terrain for example but you don't want to bake the um, bake the um, shadow on the trees itself you set the light map scale value to zero and you switch on the cast shadow so if we go to the if we go to our mesh meshes here okay let's enable let's enable light mapping show you what it does so by default you have a scale in light map, light map is zero, but if you if you have a object that is light map static but the scale is zero, it will not be baked. The shadow will not be baked on that cube, but this but it will cast the shadow and it will this shadow will be baked on the other object. So it will still affect the environment, but it will not have the light baked on itself. Also, like it's this option is very handy to set up. Um, where is that here? To set up the different value for multiple meshes of the s scale of the light map. So, for example, all of them had one except this one for zero, but whatever. So I'm gonna set the light map scale 16 game objects uh, set. So now, if we go back to our meshes, we see that the scale in la light map is zero five. So. Uh, it's for the actually tweaking the uh, light baking, uh, very handy for me at least. Um, another option, this will replace the shaders in all objects. So if you have, I don't know, if you have some, if you do some tweak, tweaking or maybe a performance optimization and you have some, I don't know, heavy shaders, like a lot of standard ones uh, and your GPU is struggling, you want to check maybe it will work better with the mobile shaders so instead of going to each mesh changing materials or going through the materials and changing the shader on them you can just do in bulk so so if we go back to our cubes they have a, a standard shader here so we're gonna check the parent uh, mark the parent uh, we have to type in the name of the shader. It has to be exact name of the shader, how the system see it. And it's all case, sens case sensitive. I put the example here, but if you're looking for the, uh, the exact names of the shaders, you can Google that. Uh, 
let's let's use the one from the example it has to be exactly the same diffuse so mobile bump diffuse and so i mark my cubes replace shaders 16 shaders replaced so if we go back to our cubes you see they have a mobile bump diffuse if you want to have a i don't know mobile particles so you go mobile slash particles if you want to have another one so i think here you can just put the diffuse but you can legacy shaders slash diffuse or slash reflective slash bump diffuse make sure you put make the space also case sensitive so so let's maybe try another one let's say to, 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 to standard back to standard standard i think you can use just the standard 16 shaders replace if we go back to our meshes standard they are back to standard okay uh do we have anything more here yeah prepare modded scripts for editing or exporting uh, this is the this is actually for now it's for the micro splat only if you're using it to switch between editing micro splat and exporting to mod uh, probably in future I will have more uh, modded uh, assets from the asset store tools, effects, etc. That I'm gonna that will use this way. So for now, uh, maybe probably for you, for you will be useless unless you're using the um, micro splat. Okay, I think that's all. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, mm, no undo. So it's a bit tricky actually. So. I still have to figure out the way of doing it. So I suggest, uh, strongly suggest to save your scene before using it. I was trying to make that text flashing, but uh, I just gave up. So I made it red. So before any operation, just save your scene, save your trouble. Uh, because if you if you extract that colliders, blah, 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 all those operations, you cannot go here, you cannot control Z. You just can't, so you will be in trouble. Save your scene, guys. Okay. Okay, I think that's all. Let's have a quick look here. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, probably, that's the first version of it. So probably I'll be adding more and more stuff into it. Whatever I, whatever I see that I'm wasting time during modding, I will try to automate it. So that's why this tool was made. Okay. See ya.